Hey guys, this is your man Tony Star here in Cree Butcherphobia Creative World. Well, he got me to host you guys first because uh, he, he made this Iron Man respirator for himself to show you guys what how to do it. Because apparently this is how the show works. I, the material okay, so the materials you're going to need are uh, an iPod or a, a phone. Which you can play music on, obviously, uh, I think so. And the cardboard, plastic cover, blue cellophane, and use a lot of panel pens. And I think this says, have I already mentioned cardboard? Use like a thin cardboard, it says. You use a thin cardboard like a cardboard for cereals. Well, you understand. And get gray paint or silver chrome paint if you can if you can if you can afford it anyway so yeah let's learn how to make this all right guys now to start with the iron man respirator sorry i don't remember what it's called you gotta need a perfect circle probably plastic from a cover and it fits right uh right what it looks like in the movies so you gotta make actually you have to make four four circles the same uh, same circle because these are layers you gotta use layers in this project so you need four circles so now that we have uh, four identical circles now we're going to put some details on it just follow what I draw alright guys I'm finished and now as you can see these are the layers and I've drawn on them now this is the first layer now it is just uh, you will cut this middle part out all you need is this outline and for every for everything you need an outline except for the last one for this you need an outline, for this you need an outline, and that's basically it. Now for the second one, the thing that you should cut out here is not the triangle, but these stuff right here on the side. I just made a triangle because it was necessary, because these things hit the sides of the triangle, so it was necessary. Now this last piece, the only thing you should cut out here is the outline, the says outside, inside, or whatever it's called, the inside wheel, I'll just call it a wheel, the wheel, and these parts, these lines right here, and this little triangle. Now on this last one, you don't cut out anything there, you just leave it be, but you still cut that circle out. And to make those wheels there, all you need is a smaller circle. I use this masking tape one, it's not very perfect, but it's correct. Now if you're wondering that how are you gonna find the center of the circle, it's just mathematics bro, if you don't know mathematics, then you're a freaking stupid idiot. And I'm not even sure if it's mathematics, but I'm sure this is the center of it, okay? Now for this, don't cut out those lines, you need them. I'm a freaking idiot. You see, this is supposedly the center, but if you flip it on the side, it looks like the center is broken. So I'll just stick it like this the whole time, because I'm a freaking idiot. That's why I use mathematics, people, to find the center. Now for this, remember, the only thing that you are going to leave are these spots in the corners right here, not this. Now I'm gonna correct this again because I'm a freaking idiot again and it's not centered. Alright. Now basically, this is the first layer, this is the second layer, this is the third layer, and this is not actually the fourth layer but it goes, it goes back way. There we go. Now the next thing to do is that we're going to paint it with chrome, but if you don't have chrome you can use grey. Alright guys, so I'm done with uh, painting this. Now, well, as you realize, I forgot to cut out the holes in these parts. So while I was painting them, I just cut them off. So just to let you know. Now this part. Now the next thing to do is to get the uh, paper, plastic cover. Sorry, I said paper cover. The next thing to do is to get a plastic cover and to do the same circle on it. Now I don't have a pencil pen to trace it, so I'll just trace it while cutting it. Alright, now we're gonna take that away and this. And this is actually for the first layer. Now, this could, now, remember this is the first layer and this is the second layer. This will go in between the first and the second. So uh, I will just uh, maybe tape or glue them there. And now you're going to masking tape them. You can also use glue but I'll, I think I'll just masking tape it so it'll just stick faster. For your information, I'm doing this from the back of the first layer. And now you can put it in between. Now before we just glue the these together so it'll be a full layer, we are going to take a blue cellophane now. 
and I'll get about the same size of it. There we go. Then we are basically going to make a triangle out of it for the Iron Man respirator. To make it easier for you, just follow these. Alright, now this makes it much easier. So I'll see if I can draw on it. Well damn it, that doesn't work. Wait, well, it kinda works. I can see it a little bit, but I, you probably won't see it from the camera. Oh, you have to face it in the light so you can see it. That's a good idea. Now, cellophane is really sensitive for uh, with cutting, so you better make sure you do it correctly. Now we're gonna stick that actually behind. Or you can just do it here so it may be much easier. Do it on, in front, not from the back. In front. I'm gonna stick it like that. It should match, it should match the sides. So basically when you put it together it's gonna look like that. And then get the masking tape and tape it there. Or glue if you prefer right. Okay, now let's see if this works. Let's get this thing. Just make sure it's center. Alright, now it's fantastic. No, it doesn't. It looks like crap. I'll just fix it. Now you just glue them together if you prefer. I prefer gluing it when it comes to the cardboard parts. Now remember, this is always the first layer. Now you just wait for it to dry up. Alright, now while this is drying out, we are going to take this and surprise surprise we are going to cut out the triangle in the middle but don't cut out the lines and stuff, believe that now we're gonna take some plastic covers, I'm just gonna say paper covers again because I'm an idiot then you're gonna lengthen it to the lines and actually make the triangles out of it so you're gonna make it using rolls so you're gonna take a small piece of plastic cover and then you're gonna roll it up and then you're gonna make three of these to make a triangle because a triangle has three sides. You understand what I mean? Now you're gonna take a scotch tape and then you're gonna wrap it around. Because scotch tape is apparently transparent. There we go. And you're gonna use the same scotch tape and then you're gonna tape it to connect to the lines right here. Now just repeat it to the other sides, basically. Now this is the triangle of powerful stuff shown in Iron Man 2. I don't know what it's called, it's been a long time since I watched Iron Man 2 because Iron Man 2 uh, sucks, okay? I can't deny it. Now if you want, just make sure it's uh, secure, but if it is already secure, then you have this. The strong Iron Man thing that happened in Iron Man 2, which I cannot name. Now the lines go in each, uh, each corner of the triangle. So you just follow that, and you're good. Go. This looks really freaking awesome. Let's try to put some light on it. Great! There we go. Doesn't that look great? Now I can actually literally glue them together now. So I'm gonna take this, this layer, and then I'm gonna stick them to the first and second layer. The next thing we're going to do is to, we're going to try to put a space for the phone to go in between. So let's say you're you don't have an iPod and you only have a phone, so you gotta make space for your phone. And this circle is too big. Don't worry, we're not done yet. We're just gonna do this, but we're going to put a little like walls in the side so it'll it'll carry the phone. So we're gonna start to take your cardboard again. With the cardboard, you're gonna make a really thin but long line. Now shape it around it. Now you take that and then you tape it with masking tape or scotch tape. Alright, take that, and at the back, cover it up with whatever you have, like masking tape or whatever, just paint it afterwards. Make sure it's so secure that your phone won't just fall off at any time when you wear this on your chest. Just make sure you have space to put on your headset. This would be better if it was iPod, because it would be smaller, it would fit better. And you just had to do the whole circle, you just had to put walls in the circle anymore and not a bigger wall for the phone. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is that we're gonna take this and get a, like a bag strap, a backpack kind of bag strap, and then we're going to go make it go directly straight to the back of this Iron Man respirator. 
So let's start. Now you get another piece of cardboard. And then you make a... We actually make a thick piece of strap. Make it a long one. It actually depends on how big you are. Okay, okay so it's not that... Uh, reach much so we're gonna make an extension would you like me to do a Robert Downey Jr. impression okay so let's just continue with this so you gotta tape it with masking tape for the extension you know I get more comfortable when I'm using an accent because when I'm using my own voice I don't get really comfortable so it actually already reaches to the middle part and about here so just cut this part off and put a uh, masking tape right there just to make sure just to make you remember just remember that your Iron Man respirator should be on the chest in the middle part center you don't need mathematics for that you know your, the center of your chest and there we go now just repeat it on the other side now this Iron Man respirator can also be used for the Hulkbuster costume I will I'll I'll be making or I've already made but I'm because I'm not sure if I've already uploaded it before this or after this video. So just wait for that to come out. Should go right in the center. Now you take your Iron Man respirator. I'll take the phone out of it because it makes it read him. Do this one person trick I just invented right now. You tape them together first. There we go. So I guess we can just do like double sided tape type of thing right there. I don't have double sided tape right now, so I'll just use masking tape. Make sure that's perfect. There we go. Is that good? You know, if you prefer painting it, you can paint it, but it's not actually going to be seen from the outside because you're gonna wear it from the inside. Um, you can decide not to paint it. So let me show you what it looks like from the inside. Okay, so beating the trick, you gotta use a white shirt. You can't use a black shirt or any shirt that's dark because it's not gonna see through. So right now, I changed my shirt to a white shirt and my light just went off. <sighs> there we go, we're back in action. Now that's about it, use duct tape to to get it attached to the Iron Man respirator and thanks for watching Butchophobia, this is Tony Stark. No, this is actually Butch doing a Tony Stark impression. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to my channel and like and share, absolutely share it to a lot of people. And wait for the next week's uh, Iron Man Hulkbuster. Peace out guys, this is Tony. So yeah guys, I won't be here next time. Butch will be hosting again next time for another Marvel related creative world. I, I'm not sure if I should mention it because he told me he's, he's, he's warning me now. Yeah. Yeah, I, okay. Yeah, sh sh sure I got it. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I got no problem with it. Hey, I'm hosting your show here for free, okay? So this is um, iPod Iron Man Respirator iPod Carrier. You got that? So you can plug your headset here. Hang on, there's a headset here. Can I use this? Alright, sure. So this headset here where oh, here this goes there and then you can listen to some Miley Cyrus or whatever kids listen to these days. See, there we go. Oh no, it's breaking apart. Sorry. I'm sorry, it's, it's breaking apart. Can you help me, Arts? Hang on. Okay, it's fixed right back. And see, it works like that. So you can just ride like taxis or walk around the park using this respirator which is again breaking apart all right here we go so you can like listen to and then people say hey you're iron man that's awesome man 